Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a great day. And if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button, that would be awesome. Today, we are potentially buying another new project for the channel. And by we're, I mean Ben. He had the Miata. We sold that. He made some good profit on it. He bought a 2001 five speed CRV, all wheel drive a complete unicorn and that's his daily right now he unfortunately no longer has the g37 sedan and today robbie ben and i will be driving up to phoenix to potentially be looking and buying another honda project if ben doesn't go through with this project i may potentially buy this car because i've been looking at one for the past five years it's a build i've always wanted to do but ben was kind enough to allow me to film and of course work on it for the channel. So thank you, Ben. I'm just currently waiting on them to pick me up. Again, gonna head to Phoenix. Hopefully everything checks out and we'll be driving home with a new project car. I just need to now make time for this potential new project car because as you know, we got the Skyline that's almost finished. We got the Prelude I need to start and finish with the body kit and the motor and trans swap. And then we got the JZX100. I plan on buying at the end of the year, but I'll do my best to make time. And again, just waiting on them currently to pick me up and I think they are almost here. Good evening, brothers. What's up, my Chilling dog. Right. We are looking at the car right now. We're gonna check it out first before I film what the car actually is. So Ben purchased a 1999 Honda Civic EM1 SI. It's honestly in okay condition. The motor is mechanically sound. It's got some Toyo Proxy R888s, which is funny on some drag rep wheels. Hood needs to be changed. Front bumper needs to be changed. Pretty much the whole front clip. We need to wet sand the whole Civic and polish, paint correct it. It needs an alignment, coilovers, and it also needs a lot of interior. I mean, the interior is not super bad. It just needs to be clean. It's sticky. It's it sticky. is thick. I'm not gonna touch anything. Yeah. But definitely needs new interior panels. I already smelled the oil, but that's I all right. Smell the weed. Oh yeah, it's loud in here. It needs tint as well. All right, time to go. Grab some food, pray for us on our drive back because like I mentioned, it definitely needs an alignment. I like it though, it could be a whole lot worse. It, it really could be. I mean, mechanically sound, clutch feels great, trans feels great, so. I think for 2,700 bucks, you're buying an SI, you can't expect something perfect, but this is, it could be a whole lot worse. Yeah, especially a 99 Honda. He told me um, he was the eighth owner. Eighth owner? He's, He's the nine. eighth. I was like, wow. Well, are they counting the person that stole it that one time? Ah, uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, this too needs to be changed out. Well, we're gonna do some nice Gucci floral. Oh, dude, that'd be sweet. That's what I'm doing on the skyline. Oh, I can't do the same pattern. <laughs> got this sick ass block plate and we need to replace the clips on the dash to the center console.
hungry. My ears hurt. <laughs> Touching that car is so disgusting. Like, it smells like weed and sticky. But honestly, it is a solid car. I cannot wait to see how it looks within the next, say, four or five months. Surprise, we made it. Not really. This thing fucks, dude. I love it. So much potential. So we are finally back home, feeling all right. Back's kind of sore, but right now we're just gonna give the whole SI a not so good wash, just so we can see what the paint looks like and see what we're working with. Max scratch. <laughs> Max scratch. Yeah, definitely need a whole new front end. Maybe we can like wear up these fog lights too. Doesn't even bead. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, maybe this side. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but these are actually Toyo R888s on rep wheels. You could probably sell it for like two, three hundred bucks. I mean, honestly, the wheels clean up pretty nice. Yeah, no, they're pretty good shape. They actually really are in good shape. They're not even curved. Civic is half ass wash. Of course, on camera, it looks great. Actually, painting does look. Pretty good in person, I'm not gonna lie. It's terrible. It's, it's not better. terrible. Then when we looked at it, it's way better. I mean, it's black paint, it's been in two, it's been in Arizona for probably all its life, but I mean, the tires turned out great. I'm showing wire. <laughs> a lot of wire. Wheels again are not too bad. Right now, Robbie and I are going to try to bend this out since Ben's getting a new hood anyways. I mean, dude, it's, it's a good 50 feet away car, but now it's a good like 10 feet away car. It's like a little plastic. So under the bay, we got some awesome DC sports ceramic header. Again, no AC or power steering. Timing cover, a delete. Missing a sensor here. Stock B16A. Actually a really nice AEM. True cold air intake. You should probably get the Probably clean the air intake before we drive it again. I have the, the kit one. Oh, I think the battery's okay. We got these sick ass Mugen Mugen hood spacers, which got to go. For sale. For sale too. They're legit 500 bucks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is this real carbon fiber? No, no. probably not. No chance. But when we all did the inspection, everything checked out. No blow by. Um, no coolant, not coolant, no oil in the coolant reservoir. I didn't check the brake fluid, but I think it was. Well, we made it all. Yeah, we should probably service it anyways. New plugs, everything. Clutch fluid needs clutch fluid. But he's got these sick ass six speed hardware. That's pretty cool. I want to know what coilovers are on here. There, I know they're like super eBay. No, no, not, not time. Big one. Not time for this one. One more, Ooh. one more good one. Like, like one more, like little good one, like right there. All right, check that pitman. Damn, boy, actually. <laughs> You might not even need a new hood anymore. <laughs> Actually, no, for real. We, we, we can easily fix it with like Bondo. I don't know how it fits when the, without the hood spacers. Yeah. Want to take those out too? Okay. Alright, got the hood spacers out. Yeah, looks significantly better. Again, not a whole lot of stuff on the front end is OEM, so nothing really aligns how it should, but. We're gonna be swapping out the front end anyways. I wonder if I can pick it up on camera. Yeah, no, probably not. This, oh, there you go. This thing's got some beautiful, like, 
cosmic blue, galaxy blue flakes in it. Look at those swirls, dude. On the, on the quest to de rice the Civic. Go for it, boys. <laughs> oh my god, it came out like a bomb. Rest in peace. What's better than picking up a Civic SIM1 for less than three grand? A five speed all wheel drive Honda CRV. So, this is Ben's new daily after the G. Honestly, a unicorn in pretty much in immaculate condition. We are back home, everybody. Just want to say thank you so much for making it to the end of the video, and I hope you are ready for this budget civic build ben is supplying us the channel again thank you so much ben for everything you are awesome so like i just said he wants to do sort of a mid-grade budget build he doesn't plan on keeping this car forever so it's more of a here for a good time not a long time sort of build but we're super stoked to start working on it next week we're gonna give the interior a good deep clean take all the seats out take all the carpet out take the door cards out and just scrub every ounce of resin off the door cards and get that weed smell out of the interior so i'm stoked on that and once everything is checked out in terms of the undercarriage any leaks tie rods any arms we are going to be ordering or he's going to be ordering the exhaust and a cat because right now it's just the dc header to a test pipe to some ebay brand knockoff cat back which sounds god awful and we feel really bad for driving it around our city so again he's gonna cat the car and then go with a say more name brand exhaust and once that all checks out new coilovers we're looking at wheels and tires and i think once everything is good we're gonna start the exterior so giving the car a good paint correction at least most of it the front end we're going to replace and have john respray so it's going to be a pretty cool build i'm incredibly stoked i cannot wait on top of the skyline build i got and the prelude build i have about to be going i think this should be okay to put on and kind of bounce through everything else but other than that everybody thank you so much for your continuous love and support and if you're new to the channel and want to hit the subscribe button that'd be awesome and remember aim high drive low we'll catch you next video take care